Hey y'all, it's Jeff from Zen Pilot. I want to talk today about an awesome new ClickUp feature. Um, this is evolving ClickUp AI. Um, so if you don't have ClickUp AI, you will have to um, get the subscription for your team, um, but want to show you the capabilities and how this can really help your account managers um, just kind of seeing a high level overview of, of all of their different projects they have going on for um, their clients. So I want to go over sort of what it is. It's a new uh, custom field, a text custom field. It's always been there in ClickUp, but you can summarize um, ClickUp tasks with the AI feature. So just to start this off, I want to kind of backtrack into what I have set up here and what you're seeing on my screen in ClickUp. Um, I'm in the delivery space. This is where all of my client work lives. And uh, I have a bunch of client folders here from Dunder Mifflin, Troop Farms, Michael Scott Paper Company, Serenity by Jane. So on and so forth, a bunch of different clients, each of them, all their work lives within their folder. So Dunder Mifflin folder, all their work lives within these lists here. Um, and for my account managers, they want to see a view uh, of the tasks and projects that are just for their clients. So what I've done is I've created this one right here for Steve. And so Steve's accounts are just Dunder Mifflin and Shrew Farms. He just has two of them, but he wants to see just the work uh, for them and then kind of use that new feature um, with ClickUp AI that can kind of summarize what's happening across all these different deliverables that we're doing for both Dunder Mifflin and Troop Farms. So here for this view, essentially what I've done is I'm using two custom fields. One of them is going to be a client custom field, one of them is account manager custom field. So I've applied those via automation to all the tasks that are living in the Dunder Mifflin folder as well as the Troop Farms. So you'll see how that's now set up. I'm able to group by client. Um, this custom field here, you'll see just like that as you can see at the top there. So that's just pulling in Troop Farms and Dunder Mifflin. And then my filter, I'm uh, filtering by the account manager is Steve. So wherever Steve is an account manager, again, that custom field is applied to all the tasks in this folder and this folder via automation. So you can set that up at the uh, folder level here um, in those automations there. And so again, it's just gonna pull the tasks that apply to him. I don't need to see advanced refederation, athlete, and so on and so forth. I just wanna see these. So with him then, the columns that I'm showing here are sort of the task names. I'm um, not showing all the subtasks unless he wants to see them. I can show him the status just to see if it's blocked and client review and progress, uh, things like that. The assignee, due date, time track, time estimate, as well as this progress bar that if I close one of these tasks, uh, you'll see like that, it'll update that progress bar automatically. So very easy to see that. However, now with this new feature, what I'm able to do is if I go over here to add a column, um, you'll see text area. I can fill it now with AI. So I'm going to click on this. And you'll see here, um, I can just name this, let's just call it summary. And so at the bottom, you'll see fill with AI right here. So I can either do AI summary or AI progress updates. Let's look through both of these. We'll start with AI summary. I can choose my format, either a bolted list, short or detailed. Let's start off with a bolted list. I'll show you what that actually is so it makes sense to you. But I'll go and add that column in. So once I've added that column in, now I'm able to, uh, as you can see this, just generate um, some text here. So let's generate a couple of these. And you'll see now essentially what it's doing is it's searching through everything within this process here. So I have my parent tasks and subtasks, just like that. It's looking at sort of the comments, if anything was completed, and it's generating essentially an overview of what the, the process, the project is, as well as what has happened in it. So as you can see here, the task involves this. Um, currently only the block strategy has been completed. So it's looking at the subtasks that are done to kind of tell me what we've done thus far. Um, and as you'll see, uh, everything else is not quite done. So it's going to give me a summary of basically everything that's happening. And as more and more stuff happens via comments and whatnot, um, you'll get more information there. But it makes it super easy for account managers to come through and just get a nice summary of what's happening. In addition, if I want to change this up, I can edit this field and I can go to, um, instead of fill with AI, I can do AI progress updates. So with this, I can either choose to get updates from the last 24 hours, three days, seven days, or 30 days. And again, I can adjust my format to however I want it. So let's just try detailed this time. I'm going to go with that. And now what I'm able to do is I can just kind of do the same thing. And it's just going to tell me if any updates happened in the last 24 hours. So this one, um, just like this. We, I left a comment in this saying, hey, Michael, um, is, is this project is currently in Michael's hands. He's reviewing it and let us know when it's approved. That is pulling that information uh, right here so I can kind of see that. I can go to the comments, obviously, if I wanted to, but if there's a bunch of communication happening in there, it's going to summarize all that and just give it to me um, directly there. So that makes it super easy. As you get a lot of stuff going on, uh, say maybe your account managers have more than just two clients like Sherwood Farms and Dutter Mifflin, it's gonna make it super easy for them to summarize all of that in one field 
and see all that information, whether it's a bulleted list or a longer um, paragraph for them. So an awesome new feature inside of ClickUp um, with ClickUp AI. I highly recommend um, using it. It's very helpful for especially your account managers and others that are just trying to get a summary of what's happening across the workspace.